Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Lopez and today we're going to do a basic animation drawing project. Please remember that you can always skip some steps if you already know how to do them by uh, checking the chapters uh, below. Uh, and don't forget to uh, click like and subscribe at the end of the clip. Thank you. For this exercise, you're going to need uh, different materials. You're going to need two images, uh, your starting point and something that is going to transform into. In this example, I'm using a letter and a shape that looks like my letter. You're going to need a pencil, a rubber, tracing paper, uh, some white paper and some color pencils if you want to do it in color. The first thing that you're going to do is trace your original image and the image that uh, your object is transforming into. Once you've traced both images, you're going to uh, overlap the tracing paper for both of them and you're going to put a new piece of tracing paper on top of that. Uh, and once you have that, you're going to try to create a new shape, uh, finding the midpoint between your first object and your second object. This will create a shape that looks uh, somewhere in between both images. If you have details that appear or are different in your second image, you can always go back and try to find uh, the midpoint for those uh, parts on that image. Or if you're making something appear, uh, make it half the size and that way it will start transforming uh, gradually. After you've done that image, you're gonna select your middle image, the, th the, one, the new one, and uh, your starting point and you're gonna do the same thing and then you will do the same with the middle image and your last image to have the steps in between if that makes sense Once you've done this, you will have a basic animation transformation drawing in five steps. If uh, you have a very complicated image uh, or it doesn't look as smooth as you would like to, you could always add new steps in between uh, the ones that you have. Uh, you just need to put the, them together, put a new piece of tracing paper on top and create new steps in between. Now, to add color to your images, uh, the easiest way uh, that you can do this is by flipping over your tracing paper, uh, use some graphite on the lines that you've created, then flip it back over and go over your lines with a pencil, and that way you can uh, transfer your image into a blank piece of paper. If you're struggling to see where you have, what part you've been over again, uh, you can always use a color pencil to uh, draw on top of your tracing paper and that way you know exactly what you've traced and what you haven't yet. And once you've uh, traced your images, you can always add some color. Uh, you can use whatever material suits you, uh, depending on the uh, paper that you're using as well. 
in my case, I just use color pencil just uh, for this example. Um, but then you will have images with color. Now, in order to create your animation, uh, there's different ways, depending on how many steps you made. The easiest way or the fastest way that I found was uh, to use a GIF Maker uh, app. There are several different apps um, online on the App Store. Uh, I use one called GIF Toaster, uh, which has two versions. I use the free version. It has a lot of options. It's simple to use. Uh, and then you select your images, you put them uh, all together, you press share and it creates a GIF image that you can share anywhere that you want. Um, and that's how you make a quick animation uh, transformation drawing. Um, I'm Mr. Lopez, thanks for watching, bye.